Hey guys, it's Emery. As you can see, I'm alone and in vlog mode right now, so I'm not on a tripod and my hand shakes a lot. <laughs> so, uh, excuse my shaking. But this whole weekend, um, I'm going to be vlogging periodically. Um, so I wanted to give an overview of what my weekend is going to look like and um, give some updates and things like that before I get into the whole vlog. Today is Saturday, which means it's my niece's birthday, which is cool. She's getting too old, but it's fine. Um, today is her birthday, so we're gonna go visit tomorrow for a family party. Um, so we're going to travel to Northern Virginia, which is halfway to my top surgery consultation, which I mentioned last week. So tomorrow we'll go to her party in Northern Virginia, stay the night, and then travel to Maryland from Northern Virginia, which will be an easier drive. Um, so that's what the weekend is going to look like. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog of kind of the in-between, but I'm planning on talking about my consultation, what I've learned, uh, what it was like getting there, what the place was like, that kind of thing. But other than that, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the rest of the vlog. Okay, y'all, it's Sunday. <laughs> it's the day <laughs> that we're going to my niece's birthday party. Um, we're sitting in the Starbucks line. Mara made us run a little bit late. We out here. <laughs> no, this is funny YouTube video. Um, yeah, we're on our way to Northern Virginia. Um, I have no further comments, but we're traveling. Whoa! Okay, guys. Um, we're in the car now on our way back to Richmond. Hi! And um, so I, I fast forwarded through the whole consultation process. Um, we ended up being in a really big hurry in the morning and we're kind of later than we thought and went to Starbucks and I forgot my wallet and it was a whole thing. Um, and then we couldn't find the office because we went to the wrong side of the office park. Which was my fault. Um, but we got there and they were super nice even though they said to come, sorry about the light, they said to come uh, 30 minutes before my appointment time and I could only make it like 15 minutes-ish before my appointment time but I got the paperwork done and they were fine with it. Um, so I went in for the consultation, it took like maybe an hour. Uh, I paid $100 for the consultation fee just to cover seeing the surgeon for that time. Um, they were really quick. We sat in the room for like a second before the surgeon showed up and it was really easy. She was very nice. She, when I sat down, they basically asked me super simple questions that took like five seconds. Um, and then the surgeon, including my pronouns, which was really cool. If you want to go see that surgeon, um, Dr. Beverly Fisher in Maryland had mentioned before, um, they'll ask your pronouns and be super appropriate about all the transgender stuff that you have to go through, so that's cool. So then Dr. Fisher sat down with me, told me what surgery I was eligible for, which is double incision for me, and that was pretty obvious to her, And but she said that my case should be super easy depending on what I'm starting with, so that was good to hear. Um, and then she walked through literally every step from arriving for surgery like what I'm gonna go through all the way through uh, post-op care and um, even like weeks after what I'll, I should be able to do within certain periods of time, which was nice. Uh, she broke down everything I possibly could have needed to know and um, asked if we had any questions. They talked to me about care credit, which is paying off the surgery over time if I need to. Um, the biggest question that I had was, for the nipple resizing process, which when they do nipple grafts, they don't take just the whole nipple and then put it back on because it would be too large for uh, when you take your chest down that from that big to that small. Um, so they kind of resize the nipple and the areola and I wanted to know like how that worked and what kind of things they could do with that. So she broke that all that down for me, which was really cool. But basically my takeaway is if you're going to get a surgery and you don't know everything about it, just go and ask every question that you have and they'll have all the answers and it was super easy and painless and we actually ended up enjoying the whole consultation, right? Yes. Um, she was really informative and with everything and also was really open to me and M's mom asking questions. Like she made sure that we all knew 
I'm going to be the one taking care of M at home, like post surgery. And I had questions about that, and she was super open to answering all of those too. So I thought that was cool. Yeah, so, and all the staff was really nice too. Mm -hmm. Like even the the nurse who came in, or I don't know her title, but the lady who came in with the surgeon. Um, took notes and stuff and she put in her input when she felt like it was necessary and made sure that everything was covered which was nice um the surgeon was like are you did I cover everything to make sure that she got everything out and like cared enough to see if she missed something and um they were didn't awesome. but they were super nice they're also super helpful with like walking through insurance and what was needed to see if insurance would cover things um because a lot of doctors I know are very hands off with stuff like that. It's kind of like you have to talk to your insurance agent about that, not me. And they were both very helpful in walking through the process of what it needs to do to get any possible insurance coverage. Yep. So we left just with a better idea of um, the insurance stuff and then the simple surgery questions that I had. I actually had done tons of research before, so I knew most of what I needed to know, but anything that we didn't know got covered in that consultation and uh, they confirmed my price by the way that it was going to be 8600 8650 um, is the price and they said it's the same for all double incision surgeries so it doesn't get adjusted I guess based on your situation unless you need a revision um, which if you go back for a surgical revision it's just the payment for whatever supplies that they need to use for the revision but that's it and then any kind of a simple revision like if they just need to use a needle to like drain a hematoma or whatever that kind of stuff is already covered within your surgical price that you initially paid so that's nice um i don't know i don't really have a whole lot to say other than that that it was positive and i'll probably be going to dr fisher just because it was such a great visit and everybody there was so great and i feel really informed and everything really really well so that's kind of all I have to say we're on our way home now and it was pretty easy and painless uh, other than the four-hour drive there and back <laughs> but that was the worst part right Traffic. yeah so um, yeah that's all I have to say so Yay. Yay. okay guys so that was my vlog I hope you guys learned something um, saw anything new that you didn't know about before I hope I talked about his stuff enough so that you understand what went on. Um, so I'm going to link my top surgery fundraiser down below in the description. I tried to link it in an annotation, but uh, YouTube doesn't isn't compatible with my specific fundraiser page, um, so I couldn't link it there. But you can copy and paste the link in the description if you want to go visit that page. If you can't help monetarily, that's absolutely fine. Um, you can help by sharing the page or sharing this video so people can learn more about me and maybe help me out. That would be awesome too. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. If you would like to ask a question below about anything that happened in the video, go ahead. And if you have any video ideas or comments, you can also put those in the, in the question box below. Um, thanks for watching. Keep up with my story and we'll see you guys next time.